uh, first, uh, every country has uh, its uh, condition. Uh, I think in Europe as well, there are different views too, not only one view. In Japan as well, there are different views. Uh, but the uh, uh, United States, as you know, have done QE1, QE2, QE3, and now trying to review its policy because they have sufficiently relaxed monetary basis. Japan, in the present government, thought that they have to increase monetary base and government spending in order to boost the economy, get out of deflation first. So that's why they have increased monetary base for 33% and that has worked for Japan. Uh, of course, the stock price has gone up 44% in just one, less than one year and this uh, policy is working now. Uh, but also, the uh, Japanese government is trying to look at uh, increasing of uh, consumer tax. Uh, I don't know how it will be done, but also trying to reform its economy too. Every country has to look at its economy uh, and try to find the right balance. Of course, the difficulty more is with Europe is that it's not one country. It's uh, more than 26 countries in one uh, big economy, so it has to reflect their different positions. But in our country, for example, it has been this has been working. You see, uh, as for this uh, 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 situation, very unfortunate. Uh, I personally think that we have should go through three principles. One, no compromise. There cannot be any compromise on our territory. Second. Uh, no taken off guard because Chinese government ships is coming into adjacent water, sometimes the territorial water quite often. So we have to have very good security. Our maritime uh, uh, agency is uh, really trying to focus on this. Third is no provocation. This is my personal view that we should not make any offense to let Chinese uh, have excuse to do more. I think we should calmly uh, try to maintain the status quo and wait so that China will take more reasonable attitude. Uh, just one thing. Japan proclaimed that this is territory of Japan in 1885 and China started to claim that this is, is their territory in 1970. 85 years later, in, in 1970 is right after United Nations published a report that there's a petroleum in that uh, seabed. So uh, we think that uh, it has not been challenged by uh, international opinion, including China, and that shows the uh, our historical record uh, that we, and we are governing that uh, island too. But uh, thank you for asking that very good question. Thank you. And muchas gracias.